Hi, welcome to another tutorial. This one's how to get big fonts on a GLCD display. Uh, I struggled for a bit, uh, didn't understand some of the terminology. Um, you can see this large font uh, just representing the time. Uh, this bit up here to save memory, this is actually a JPEG uh, saved as a monochrome picture uh, and then the time laid on top. So I'm not sure if it always has been, but uh, get onto Microelectronica and their GLCD font creator is free at the moment. I don't know if it always has been. So if I move you to the screen, focus you in. As I say, it's free at the moment. I'll scroll back. So if I'm on Microelectronica site, uh, go to products and then see that down here, GLCD font creator. Click on that. It tells you about the uh, creator. Uh, download it, install it. Uh, if you're running um, earlier software, it tells you about you need this library, but it starts talking about XGLCD uh, and SPI XGLCD for the serial interface LCDs or GLCDs. Uh, it's this XGLCD that was confusing. I kept on trying to use it in the command, and uh, X isn't recognised, uh, certainly not on mine. I mean, I've got um, 4.8. Uh, my compiler is 4.8, anyway. So, but it didn't didn't work without the X. It didn't work with the X. So I'll, I'll show you uh, what I was doing wrong. So I've shut this down. I've already installed it. There's the creator there. Double click. Right. Hopefully you've got this in view. Go to File, New Font, Import an Existing System Font. Right, so if we go to so, uh, this, uh, say so Times New Roman, uh, go for say number 12. If you make the, the font too large, it's not going to fit on your PIC microcontroller, depending on what you use. If you've got something like the 8, uh, 887 or 877, uh, 8 kilobytes uh, of RAM, uh, it's not, you know, the, the whole alphabet's not going to fit. So I'll show you what I did. So pick a font, pick a type, uh, pick a size, go OK. Right, this time's the Roman. We want the, well, I want the gaps, any gaps and blanks to be on the right and the top. So uncheck these two middle ones. Now, on my real time clock calendar, which is also an MSF receiver, I couldn't fit the whole alphabet on there, just kept on coming up, not enough ROM. So, and what I want, I only want the numbers, so from 0 to 9. Plus, uh, is it a colon, semicolon, whatever, to separate the numbers? So, for that, I know I'll show you in advance. Four from forty-eight to fifty-eight will give you just the numbers and a colon. Right, go OK. Right, so that's a number one. So look, if we, on the top left, hopefully you can see that. If you click on char, put them in alphanumerical order. So there's number one is uh, 49, number two is 50. I believe that's the ASCII codes, but don't quote me. Um, eight, actually I've got this wrong. 
I must have gone one too little because I haven't got the colon or the number nine. So start again. New font, open existing font. Don't want to save the changes. So 47, 48. Forty-eight to fifty-eight. Okay. That's better. Right, so we've got naught, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the colon. It's number fifty-eight. If uh, you can leave it 127, you get the whole alphabet capitals and lower case, which you'll need to copy the whole lot if you're using the whole lot. Um or it, all the other symbols goes up to 255 but then it, these graphics use an awful lot of RAM so you can experiment with what you're doing now I kept on using this export for GLCD hopefully you can see it there export for GLCD and this is where I kept on coming across the problem uh, so micro basic, micro pascal and micro C which is what I've got then it says, look, this font requires X GLCD library. I thought, like, well, what's that? And I kept on looking and see other people quoting it and couldn't get it to work. But there's the, uh, the codes there. But anyway, I kept on importing it into micro C. Didn't work. So I close it down. So I know I didn't have a TFT, but I wasn't sure if my GLCD was new or not, but I'll try it anyway. Export for TFT and new GLCD library. A new GLCD, new library. So I don't know what a new library is. I've only got uh, micro C. So uh, micro basic again, Pascal, micro C. Now all of a sudden the code's different. You get all this bit here before all the characters. If you scroll across to the right, you'll see code for 48, 49, 50, and so on, so forth. So what you do, so I've got micro C, doesn't say anything about the X GLCD anymore. So just simply copy that, close it down, close that down, don't save the changes. If I scroll back up to my clock, scroll out to simply import it, well, I say copy the clipboard, paste it in there. So I pasted this MS uh, Sans serif. You can see I pasted it there. But then if I quickly scroll down. Right, so there's the text. I'm setting the font. Hopefully you can see all that. Set the font. Set the font there. Right now, instead of GLCD right char, you now want GLCD uh, right to chart advanced. I'm nearly out of time. Chart advanced and then text advanced. Uh, it doesn't want a page number, just um, X and Y. Uh, that's it. If I um, to set the font, that's the color and the orientation. So one's the color, nought's the orientation. Let's have a quick gander of that. Have a go at that, and that's how I got my clock going. Uh, or for the hours and minutes, and then normal for seconds, day of the week. Hope you find this helpful. Thank you very much.